Hi, this is Donna, and I just wanted to show you my altered box that I made. I finished it today, started it yesterday. Um, I was taking a shower Saturday morning and thought about the Baby Mini album that is not too many, and I felt that it needed a home, and so I altered this box, and at Saturday after work I went down to Hobby Lobby and to Jo um not Joanne's but to Tuesday mornings to see if I could find a box um with a prettier shape that was almost already done. And thought I had found one at Tuesday morning, but when I got home the album was still a little bit too large for that. So when I got home I found this box and I don't have an didn't have enough baby paper to finish it in the matching paper. Um, that I used on the mini album, so I just had to use this paper. So I went and covered the bottom and the top both and put about three coats of Mod Podge on there. And they're not scrapbook people, so it was all I did on the side was just put the ribbon on the top and the bottom. I didn't put anything else on there. And then um, put some flat back pearl bling up here. Then I used this little baby again and blinged up her little her little bow and put a little I'm's rose on her diaper. And then over here I put I'm's roses and blinged them up a little bit. And I don't know if you can see, but right there and right there I put some little um, dragonflies on the flowers. And then I put a little bit more bling up here at the top and then the words... I cut out of my silhouette. It says, My Story Begins. So I thought that was really cute. And then the inside, I just used plain, uh, like a pinkish color that matched the paper um, to put in there. And did the same about three coats of Mod Podge. And the only thing I have to do tomorrow is go down to the dollar store and get some baby. Um, tissue paper to put in the box and put the um, album in and then I will give it to grandma tomorrow because we're having the women's club all the month of June gives free art classes to the kids that are 7 to 12 years old and tomorrow is my turn and so I'm going to teach beading we're going we're to do some beading and if we run out of beads or they get bored, we have a backup plan where we're going to um, let them make a card. So I had to cut a whole bunch of, well, I just stamped images, and they're going to cut them out and color them and glue them on cards. So but I wanted to show you that. That's my mini album's new home. And then she doesn't know that I made this box for her. She doesn't know. She just thinks she's getting a mini album. And then she doesn't know I made her a baby card. And I took these, the letters. I have a, out, a little paper pack that has pop-outs. So I just took baby and popped them up on pop dots. And then the shoes is a rubber stamp. And I just colored them with Copics and then cut uh, punch the little holes and use real ribbon to run through the little holes, if you can see that. So it gives it a little more dimension. Then use the Martha Stewart punch, lace punch, on the edge, and then put a row of light pink uh, ribbon or trim, and then just left it blank for her to write in there to her daughter. And then the little envelope, I just put little pale pink handprints on there. So she doesn't know she's getting the card or the box, but I felt with this mini album, it is so large, it needed a home, so that's what I did. So I will be giving it to her tomorrow, and I hope she likes it, but I just wanted to share it with you guys, and thanks for watching. Frog hug.